Welcome, everyone. We begin with breaking news. A hazmat situation at a Valley Middle School stranded students, teachers, and their parents on campus overnight. The fear is that students may have been exposed to mercury, a chemical which can have toxic effects on the body. We do have team coverage this morning for you on this hazmat situation that is still under investigation right now. Peter Dawson and Mike Dory are live at Walter Johnson Junior High this morning, where students are still being released from the school into their parents' custody. Peter, let's start with you. What's the latest on the situation? What do we know so far? Well, students are slowly being released, and the mercury quarantine situation here at Walter Johnson High uh, Middle School is on its 15th hour. And when you know, the first thing you notice when you come up is the streets jam-packed with cars, with parents trying to find any information they can about their child. In the parking lot here, CCSD police, school buses, and Las Vegas Fire just showed up to provide some light. They've been here the entire time. Now, information has been slowly released, and this is what we know so far. Eight students and a few faculty members, including the principal, were exposed to a small amount of mercury, the amount found in an old thermometer. The school quickly followed protocol. Fire crews, CCSD police, hazmat, and the EPA were all called out, and the school went down on lockdown. Hazmat crews screened room after room and student after student. Captain Young with CCSD police gave us the very latest information just a short time ago. Um, they're still going through the screening process of the uh, last two, a little over 200 students that are left in the school. Um, the process is that they take their shoes and backpacks, other things like that, and they're bagging them up and they're screening the kids to make sure that they don't have any uh, measurable levels of mercury on their person before they leave. There's an apparatus that they have that will uh, look for mercury levels. It's a, it reads uh, mercury levels on the person or on their uh, belongings. Um, it's like a sniffer almost. The crowd has thinned out over the last few hours, but still a large amount of parents are still waiting for any information. Captain Young says the CCSD has been updating the parents using a system called ParentLink. And for that, Fox 5's Mike Dory is live in the crowd with more about the parent situation. Good morning, guys. At this point, you got about 100, 120 parents who are still waiting to pick up their kids. This is what it looks like behind me. A lot of people waiting in the cloud. You see that again, just fist bumped, slife, high five his student, his son. Glad to be on here. All of the announcements are coming from that loudspeaker up there. Basically, they call it a parent's name. You go down and pick up your kid. Out here live, we've got Laura and Colin Younger. It's a tale of two waiting stories. We're going to start with you, Colin. You got no shoes on, so they took your shoes. Talk about what was going on in there. You've been in that school how long? A um, little over 16 hours. 16 hours. What are you doing in that time? Take me through what's going on. You're in the classroom? Uh, no, I was in the lunchroom, but it was really hot in there because they shut off the AC and no, there was no Wi-Fi after like 4.30. Yeah. So I couldn't do anything, so I pretty much just slept. You're in the seventh grade? Eighth. Eighth. And uh, talk about what kind of testing were they doing when they came to test you? What did they do? You mean for scanning? Yeah, like, scanning. Well, they would take your, um, they'd make you take your shoes and socks off, put it in the bag with your backpack, and then you'd walk down this tarp, and then you'd make, clean their arms and my tablet, and then they would walk down, and then they would take this machine, and they would scan us to see if we had um, mercury. You got the all clear? Yes. All right, how do you feel now? I feel very energetic and just want to go home and sleep. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Mom, I know he asked you for ibuprofen. He had a headache. You had a headache of a different kind out here. What's it been like waiting in this? And, uh, you know, one of the big things we're hearing this morning is parents didn't get a lot of information from the school. Exactly. I mean, the last message I got from the school was at 8 o'clock this evening, and here it is at 3.30, 4 a.m., and I'm picking my child up. Um, I was also told at 4.15 this afternoon that they were releasing the children and to come pick them up, and it's just been crazy. I mean, there hasn't been any communication between, I haven't seen anybody from the school out here. How many phone calls did you get from the school? I know that parents are saying it was all automated calls. You couldn't really yeah, talk to a person. Right. It was all automated. I probably got about four calls. The last one, like I said, at 8 o'clock. And when I called the school, all I got was an answering machine or a, you know, a voicemail. 
and it was very frustrating. Very, yeah. very frustrating. It's same story over and over, Dave and Maria. A lot of the uh, parents frustrated out here, but this is all going to be wrapping up within about an hour. That's when the school estimates all these parents are going to have their kids and they're going to have to move them out. They're also going to have to clean up this area, this waiting area here. A lot of water bottles, a lot of food wrappers. They've been waiting, some, some cases, 13 hours to pick up their kids, but hopefully they're going to put this behind them in the next hour or so, guys. Yeah, and Mike, it's also important to note that no school for the kids, right? Today at all. Absolutely. So school is canceled, unless I can tell you Colin is pretty excited about that. <laughs> got no homework anyway, right? They got your backpack, right? Yeah, they got my backpack. Yeah, so he's got no uh, homework to do anyway. But yeah, no school today. So, uh, and then we don't, we're not sure on Friday yet. So likely it's going to be good back up on Friday, but we won't know that until a little bit later today once the school briefs us on the results of all of the scanning and sort of what still needs to be done to make sure school is safe for the students to go back. All right, Mike, thank you so much for that live report. We'll continue to check in with uh, Mike and Peter throughout the morning today. Well,